Hello everyone, this is Todd Efferman from the Southern Illinoisan, and this is the Saluki Mania podcast. My guest today is freshman defensive end Chucky Sullivan. He's from Vernon Hills, Illinois, uh, used to live in Houston, and he's got five tackles in the first uh, two games of the year. Chucky is a little bit different than your average freshman because he played last year at a prep school out in North Carolina, and uh came in for Jordan Burner Saturday at SEMO uh, when Burner was ejected uh, on, after the second play for targeting and um, filled in pretty nicely. So Burner will be back this weekend uh, when the Salukis play at Memphis, but look for Sullivan to get some reps as well. The tempo? Yeah, I love the tempo. I love the heat. I'm from originally from Houston. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was like great. Vernon Hills, but then I saw the story that you you grew up in. Did you grow up in Texas? Houston. I grew, I moved from Houston, Texas, my sophomore year of high school. Okay. So I my whole life I grew up in warm weather. Houston. Like when I was 12, moved to Florida for two years. So everything I know is heat, hot, humidity. <laughs> but you had a jacket because you lived near Chicago. Oh yeah. Before you came here. Yeah. No, I never had a jacket. Never seen snow before I moved here. <laughs> okay. Never saw snow. But that was amazing. Never seen the leaves change colors. Doesn't do that in Houston. Yeah, yeah, I imagine it doesn't. Um, just, uh, what do you think you learned about your team? You know, you want to, a lot of teams improve the most from week one to week two. Did you guys feel like you take a big step in that SEMO game? I took. We, I think we took a big step, but not. It wasn't a, a step we needed. It was. It was a good second game, but I feel like we have more to accomplish. Like, the game was a good game that we needed to win on, on the road. It was get 2-0. We could break that record of 10 years without winning. But I feel like we, when better competition comes across like this Memphis game, that really show who on our team is, you know, what our team is really diving to. How much so, do you, I guess this is this will be your first one, but how much do you think team players look forward to this, being on the big stage, you know, against the bigger, bigger oh, I think schools? It's everything. I think it's everything. Everyone growing up wanted to play football for those big schools like that and um, end up in the littler school. But it doesn't matter. You cherish those moments. You cherish the moment you take advantage of every moment you get. It doesn't matter who we line up with. It could have been Alabama. It could have been anyone. We're still going to go out there with the same mentality like it's SEMO or Mississippi, Mississippi Valley State. Come out with a W. How do you guys get this game to the fourth quarter? How do we get this game to the fourth quarter? We stay into it. We stay focused. We listen to our coaches. We make sure we know what our jobs is. Don't do too much. Don't be a hero. We just do your job. Do everything that you're supposed to do, which you've been taught to do. Technique, skill, show our athleticism. And most importantly, stamina. It's got to last in the fourth quarter. We can't get beat out in the fourth quarter based on uh, endurance. Yeah. You always play defensive end? I play tight end. I play the outside linebacker. And then for the last good five, six years of my uh, football career, I played defensive end. Do you miss catching passes and, and no, blocking, no. I guess? No, no. <laughs> Office is too much of a mind game. I'm trying to break off with routes and all that. I, I like the physicality of defense, the mindset you have to have to go out there and just lay it out all on the line. Not saying offensive players don't do that, but just a different mentality of, of a defensive player. Must have, and just what, how, how do you think the defensive line has grown? We haven't seen you with Skinner yet. I thought I thought he had a good training camp too. Yeah, and, and, and 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 Burner's come along, and, and Knighton had a great camp, I, I thought, as well. Um, the defensive line is coming along. We're young which I'm really excited about for the years and the progression as, I, as we can grow together. We're all going to play together. God forbid if anyone goes down, the next man has to step up. doesn't matter. But I'm, I'm in love with our defensive line, the people we have on it. Lee Haynes, Xavier Farquhar, Anthony Knighton, Jake, Jake Summers, Burner, everyone across the line. We're all here to help each other out, become better players, no matter who's in. We're going to cheer each other on. We haven't had a lot of prep school guys, uh, yes. Chucky. Just wh- how did that come about for you? Did, was SIU on your radar before you went to the prep oh, no. school? I was initially committed to Western Illinois out of high school. But my parents didn't like the school, Western Illinois, so they unenrolled me of my knowledge and sent me off to a prep school literally a week later without my knowledge. Got on North Carolina, never came back. I thought it was a horrible, horrible experience. But at the end of the day, I was being naive and just realized I needed that to grow as a person, grow as a player, 
to get where I am now. I'm blessed that my parents have sent me there. And I'm blessed that I'm here right now. Because a lot of people don't have this opportunity at all. So, so I gotta ask, what was that day like? You're 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 at Western Illinois, uh, and they say no. Nope. Not at Western. Day you were at before home. I was, was supposed to report to Western Illinois. Um, they came to me and they said, We're, "We unenrolled you at Western Illinois. We're sending you to a prep school in North Carolina. Be ready. I know this is something you don't want to do. I know it's about to be a roller coaster. You're gonna have to only be there for five months, but at the end of the day, it will pan out better." And it actually did. I had more offers out of prep school than I did in high school. I was better willing, better, more eligible to play. It's, it's a great opportunity I got. Do you feel like a true freshman or do you feel like a sophomore? It depends on what. Because in prep, prep school, we didn't play prep schools. We played JUCOs, we played college JV teams, we played Navy, University of Navy, like we played their JV team. The kids who had weight training. I was a 18, just turned 18, and playing grown men for the first time. I played Mount Union, the first the starters. It was, so when people say, how do you feel? You feel like a true freshman? I feel like a true freshman because it's my first opportunity on a bigger stage. But I feel like a sophomore, social-wise, how I go about my day, how I go about communicating with the team. It's like, like when I got here in the spring, that was my real freshman experience. But to now, I'm more of a sophomore, I'm more developed, I have a better understanding of the game. And I'm blessed I came in in January. I could have been registered. Your first name is Raymond? How did you get Chucky? My real name is Raymond Charles Sullivan III. Okay. And my father, my grandfather, they were all, they, my grandfather went by Charles because of his middle name is Charles. My dad went by Rollo. It's, uh, it changes from Creole. And mine go by Chuck. But they call me Chucky because Charles changes into Chuck. So it's whole life been known as little Chucky. What do your parents do? My parent, my mother is currently the COO of, in Seattle it is um, Kaiser. She's the COO of Kaiser. And my dad owns his own real estate and electrical company. And how is your family doing in Houston, the ones that are still there? They're doing well. Um, everyone came together, band together, make sure everybody's okay. No one's left out. We're not going to leave anyone. I, uh, my grandmother's house was sadly unrecoverable. She lost everything, but knowing everyone across Houston, her whole family, she got her place immediately. Place to stay, food, we bought her clothes, everything she needed. But otherwise, we're great. That's great. Great. What do you, th uh, what do you think you're going to major in here? Uh, business and finance. I love finance, and I won't either want to do a minor in Spanish or some. It is, I'm still very undecisive about my minor. But I want to take full advantage of the academics uh, Southern Illinois has to offer and go out and make something with myself, with my parents, maybe take over my father's companies. Are you a uh, Bears guy or Texans guy? or? Oh, good guy. I'm neither, actually. I'm not a big I don't favor favor teams, I favor players. I, I respect players, not teams, because an organization can go down, and I don't want to be stuck with an organization when it's, when it's down there. Right. It's bandwagon. I respect the player, what he did to get to the league, how he's, he's developing over time. It's way more, and it's easier than favoring a team. So who did, you, who did you favor growing up? Who did you try to model your game after? Oh, it's, you can all, it's, I love Von Miller. That's why we're 58. I love Von Miller's great player, great explosion game hips. Uh, JJ Watt, relentlessness. Um, so those are my, probably my two best favorite players. Just the drive they have. Probably my two favorite. What are you doing when you're not playing football? I'm usually uh, studying because we have no other time but to study. Yeah. Or eating, trying to get my weight back up. Or I have a kitten. I found a kitten at the beginning of the summer. She's about the size of my hand, and I got her shots and raised her. I pretty much take care of the life of my kitten all day. Who watches your kitten when you're out of town? Uh, I give them to some uh, girls that live in the point. They take care of her. She, she's fed. I'm probably going to get into her Thursday. I have to practice and make sure everything's good. Say, say goodbye to her. Mm -hmm. Love my kitten. <laughs> What's his, uh, his or her name? Her name is Cleopatra, but I call her Cleo. Cleo. Uh, I think that's all I got, man. Appreciate it.